my beautiful collective family welcome to first eye visions my name is q i'm here to do a this is going to be the dark matter series so there will not be any picture uh but you will hear my voice if i feel uh inclined to show you the cards that i see then i will do so i will each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing are feeling grounded balanced and in alignment i feel distance may be a factor with this reading because the train just went by just as i started recording so that may be a confirmation <laughs> there goes the horn so you may be dealing with good lord <laughs> thank you you may be dealing with matters of um in 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 guard in regards to like distance whether there's physical distance emotional distance uh maybe you're doing this uh distance maybe you're implementing um these restrictions or you are making it your business to create some sort of boundary or maybe you have already done that maybe some of you have moved away or you may be traveling uh, traveling could be in uh, your plans, in your future plans. Uh, this weekend is Mother's Day, so some of you all could be traveling uh, to see your mothers um, or to see that maternal figure that may have raised you. Uh, maybe you're thinking of your mothers. Um, uh, you know, maybe you all have uh, mothers who have transitioned into the spirit realm. And so you may be traveling to visit their um, burial site to lay flowers. Um, but I feel that uh, distance may be a factor. For anyone that may be new to the channel, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clear audience. So during this reading, you will hear me uh, refer referencing songs that may be playing, whether the name of the song, lyrics within the song, the name of the artist, perhaps even the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I will be channeling. Uh, as well as what the cards may be showing and it all blends beautifully. My spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. So if the reading doesn't apply, then that means the message isn't for you. Find another reading from another amazing uh, cardomancer, you know, and you know, perhaps those messages will uh, correlate to what you may be going through. Um, my spiel is uh, also, I mean, my, <laughs> my readings our time so uh, whenever you found this video or whenever the video has found you then that may be um divine timing and in divine order that you've done so so let's delve into the reading beloveds i'm not going to take up too much of your time so what i have on the bottom of the numerology deck is communication so just as i said i felt that there was some sort of distance um, and with communication here on the bottom of the deck, we got communication number 33. Perhaps there's someone communicating with you telepathically, um, because that is your first eye. I do feel that that, um, you know, that form of communication, uh, could be via someone, uh, dreaming of you. This could be telepathic. This could be intuition. Uh, but this is like, you know, trust your intuition, uh, maybe you're picking up on the fact that someone may be coming in, moving in towards you. Um, this is someone you haven't spoken to in a while. This could be someone returning. You know, we are dealing with a lot celestially. We have Mercury in retrograde, Pluto's in retrograde, uh, Scorpio full moon just happened. Uh, we are navigating um, a lunar eclipse. We're in Taurus season. Uh, so maybe dur during, um, maybe in the month of June, someone will reach out and communicate. I feel someone may have had some form of an epiphany. Um, someone may be really thinking about things. I feel a lot of cerebral energy. Number six deals with the first die. Uh, six is also the lovers in traditional tarot. So there is a point that, you know, maybe this is someone, um, you know, that may feel that you could be their better half, or maybe this is like a friend. Uh, this is some partnership or some, uh, you know, uh, some alliance that you may have had with someone. Someone could be returning uh, from the past, someone that could have rejected you. Uh, maybe you've rejected them. Maybe there was unrequited love. I feel whatever the case 
uh, there's regrets, you know, uh, because before you get to the six, you have the five. Um, so I do feel like with, with the six communication, it's like someone is wanting to perhaps communicate, um, with you based off of something that may have happened in the past. And as I said, uh, that train going by definitely uh, would indicate that there's some form of distance between you and this person, whether it's, you know, uh, physical distance, emotional distance. Um, so we're going to see what the cards have to say, beloved. So let's go ahead, proceed with the read. Before we do, let me do some house cleaning. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Obun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mori be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So thank you. So we have, um, it is currently 6.56 on the clock. That breaks down to 8. So I do feel um, with this eight, there could have been uh, some things that have happened in the past, karmic lessons. Um, and we have currently playing on the playlist. Uh, who is this? So this is Naked Eyes. And this is called um, Always Something There to Remind Me. So this is what's playing on the playlist. So just as I said, I felt like there was someone from your past um, that was, you know, that, that could potentially be returning. Um, I was getting like, you know, someone returning from the past. Uh, so with this always something there to remind me, uh, there's definitely someone who's thinking a lot about you. Maybe they're having a lot of nostalgic thoughts. Uh, Mercury retrograde tends to bring a lot of past energy back um, into your present and so maybe there is uh, someone who is uh, kind of grappling with uh, their emotions or their feelings. Maybe they're having some sort of an epiphany because this is a yellow card. And yellow is, you know, a luminous. Yellow is uh, definitely a card um, that provides clarity um, or a color, excuse me, that provides like clarity. Uh, maybe someone is having some form of, of an epiphany. Uh, with the lovers here, maybe they're coming to some realization that they love you, or maybe there will be a confession of love with this uh, six, uh, you know, being associated with the lovers. Perhaps that could just be uh, communicating with someone uh, maybe that you used to work with in the past, someone that you, um, an old friend, even an old colleague. Um, we have on the split forgiveness, so 96 forgiveness is here. So there is someone that does have remorse, that's 6 and 6, that's 12. This could be someone that broke your heart, because 12 breaks down to 3. This is definitely someone that could have potentially broke your heart, and I feel like they've had some sort of aha moment. Something has come to light. I feel that spirit is telling you to uh, show compassion, and forgiveness is always for you, not the other person doesn't mean you have to accept them back doesn't mean you have to get back with someone doesn't even mean you have to befriend someone again you're not holding to any particular um you know expectation but with forgiveness it is definitely in your best interest to forgive those who may have wronged you in your past i do feel that this person has remorse because they may see you uh really shining bright they see you as you know uh, someone who has gone through major change like maybe you have uh, definitely been learning in this this uh process you know um when you go through heartache and loss it does 
teach you um, how to love you more. It does teach you uh, to, you know, take a step back and do a little self-analysis, a little uh, self-assessment there. So I do feel that this person sees your growth. Um, they're also very attracted to you, but there's something always there to remind me. Uh, this person may you know, like I said, be, you know, having a lot of nostalgic thoughts. Maybe they are remembering, uh, remembering uh, some of those uh, scenarios which led to heartache and loss, which led to the demise of this relationship. And it's just pointing out that they were wrong. And so they are with a heavy conscience right now uh, because it feels uh, with naked eyes being the name of the group, I feel like they're seeing something uh, for the first time. You know, it's almost like the veil has been pulled from their eyes, so to speak. So let's tap in. And I just saw seven. It was 1033 on the clock. And seven is the crown chakra. Seven also is uh, connected to the chariot and traditional tarot. So maybe this is someone who will assert themselves. And they're coming in humbly. I feel like they're really humbling themselves. So let's tap in. So we have Earth, Wind, and Fire playing, and this is called On Your Faith. So I feel like with that reference, especially Earth, Wind, and Fire, that is all of the elements. Um, you know, Earth, Wind, Fire, Air. So uh, Water, uh, Earth, Water, <laughs> Earth, Water, Fire, um, and Air are the, you know, the four elements. Um, but with Earth, Wind, and Fire, I do feel like perhaps this person has learned some things uh, because I do feel like they have they have been uh, you know kind of looking at things from a different perspective perhaps. Um, and as I said, I saw that 1033, so I do feel like that could be, you know, just indicating that someone has been kind of balancing themselves, taking more control, perhaps uh, not being, you know, uh, stubborn or thick-headed, uh, being very, uh, you know, just kind of grounding themselves and balancing out their emotions, perhaps. Uh, with On Your Face, perhaps this is, uh, I'm hearing egg on your face, so I feel like they are definitely... Um, you know, cut the nose off to spite their face is what I'm hearing as well. Uh, so they did something that ultimately hurt them in the end. Uh, it may have hurt you also, but I feel like they're even more hurt because they're now um, looking back in awareness and seeing their wrong, seeing how they were wrong. Um, and then they're looking at you. They could be watching you um, and they're seeing how you have uh, you know, it's like you've emerged uh, even more beautiful than you, you already were, or even more handsome, you know, you're wiser. Um, they see you as strong. Uh, so let's tap in. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved collective energy spirit. What messages do you have for my beloved collective? All right, I feel good with that shuffle. I'm going to take a card from five different decks to get your messages collective. That's just something that's come to me as of reach, recent, just to uh, pull different energies here. And this is the last cut. I like to cut three times, three different directions. Overall energy is number 16, rebirth. So someone has absolutely gone through some change. This could even be your energy. The rebirth card is very... Um, very indicative of transformation, regeneration, renewal. Uh, so you have changed. Um, this person has seen your change. Remember, I was speaking to seeing the 1033, uh, that's seven. And so, you know, this also could be the person that you're attracting to you um, where they have changed, they have evolved. They have uh, had some sort of death, death of the old uh, perspectives, ideologies, belief systems, habit, mindsets. Uh, and they have been renewed. They see things clearly. And that's why the 16, which breaks down to 7, um, you know, they could be feeling uh, encouraged, inspired to come towards you, to apologize. Um, that 7, as I said, is the chariot. So I am getting a sense of them, uh, you know, being more in emotional equilibrium, being more balanced. They could see you also as their twin flame. I feel like this is something that um they've had some sort of revelation you know this is like a revelation a deep revelation and as i said we have earth wind and fire here so i do feel like they've learned some things uh with earth wind and fire 
um, it's just making me think of the element. So this is someone who's learned to uh, utilize the elements around them, them of earth, wind, and fire. They could be attempting to manifest you back. Um, so this is someone who could be like uh, really setting their intentions, thinking of you, um, and you know your thoughts become reality. Um, we have Lauren Hill, nothing even matters. So this is absolutely someone who's not uh, beholden to anything in particular in their life. The only thing that matters perhaps to this person is coming towards you, is, is getting back in um, contact with you, communicating with you, or perhaps coming back into um, harmony with you. We have in the bottom of the numerology deck 41, uh, and that is self-discipline. Uh, so I do feel like spirit has been teaching someone. Uh, someone has been going through uh, some lessons here. This is uh, dealing with the uh, throat chakra. As I said, five deals with the throat chakra. Um, so I do feel someone wants to communicate. We saw communication when we first touched the deck. So there is no communication. I feel the communication has been on a standstill uh, because someone has been learning. Um, because someone, um, you know, has been going through some sort of startling metamorphosis here with this rebirth. So whenever you're going through or growing, I should say, growing through some sort of pains um, or growing through some sort of circumstance, uh, you're usually in uh, isolation or you're usually uh, seclusion in seclusion. Uh, so I feel someone's been really just focused on mastering themselves, maturing, growing, healing. Uh, perhaps there's been someone who's taken some classes. Um, this is very scholarly energy. Maybe someone has been going uh, to you know a temple, going and sitting at the feet of an elder, going and studying under a master teacher, a shaman, a Sufi. Maybe even asking uh, that matriarch and patriarch members of their family uh, for advice. Um, with nothing it even matters. I feel like this is someone now who you know with the, if you have regrets, it's like you don't even care about how you come off. Uh, uh, maybe that that ego, like I said, someone who's stubborn or someone who could have been very thick-headed in the past, it's like they don't even care how they how they come off this time around um, because they just want to express what it is that they've been holding back, that they've been um, kind of suppressing. Um, so we're gonna pull a message from Psychic Oracle deck and see who this is that you're attracting to you. And so there goes that awareness card. We have the magician. So I was just saying how the person you're attracting, they could be utilizing the elements around them with earth, wind, and fire playing um, on your face. And so this is someone manifesting you. And you see how if you look at the clown, there's like a beam of light and there is an emphasis on this area. And remember, I saw 1033, 7. 7 is the crown chakra. So I do feel this could be someone who thinks of you, dreams of you constantly, consistently. Um, and maybe if you too are someone who's intuitive or psychic, you could be picking up on this. This person has some awareness. They've had some epiphany, as I said. Um, you know that how they feel because nothing else in the world tends to matter because there's always something there that reminds them of you so if they are at a distance from you um, they could be trying to figure out ways to close that distance or to close that gap because I was picking up on distance with the train going by so this is someone who does feel this distance and they are not particularly happy uh, to be at odds. So let's tap in. So on the split, we have um, number 15, temptation, and then we have awareness. So this could be someone who could have um, could potentially have been uh, in some sort of toxic entanglement. You know, this is like the devil, the temptation. 
I feel this also is spirit telling you trust your intuition. 15 and 1 reduces to 7. So this is about you trusting your own intuition and just and and and, and being in a space or in a place of oneness, wholeness, and balance. Uh, so do not allow yourselves to get tempted. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons. Um, there could be some deceit or some envy or even just some trickery. And I feel Spirit is saying you're aware, you're, uh, you're in tune enough to be able to pick up on, uh, you know, this type of of fugazi energy so use your intuition um with nothing even matters perhaps spirit is saying that um you may not fall into uh you know into the trap with you know this person coming back and having some sort of you know epiphany about their feelings because you may be so focused on what you were doing that you may not be um beholden to this person. Um, I feel also with this spiritual union as I was shuffling, it showed up on the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting a sense of like with this spiritual union, spirit is saying that you have a very sacred connection with someone. So trust your intuition. That's why I was getting intuition earlier because there could be, you know, there could be people just returning from the past. Um, you know that are uh perhaps they're no good for you but then there are others who are returning from the past that could potentially be like a suit so you have to use your intuition to uh discern who that might be and we have kill a priest here and this is saffron and saffron is a spice um that is that was used for like royalty it was a very it's a very um it, it really denotes like abundance you know it's it's you know in in ancient times saffron uh if you had saffron you would be considered you know like royalty um and so with killer priest as i said someone could absolutely uh be seeking advice you know perhaps from you know, some sort of pe uh, pastor, preacher, uh, master teacher. So let's see what the cards have to say. And I just saw emotional withdrawal. So there has uh, absolutely been some emotional distance from whomever this person is. Or, you know, you have been distant, period, uh, from everyone as you work on yourself and work on healing um, your heart chakra, you know, after past pains and traumas and disappointments so let's see what the cards have to say beloveds bottom of the deck we have truth so the truth will only set you free someone has discovered the truth i feel like this is what the issue was someone initially was in minds but the truth has set someone free and that perhaps that truth is something that they uh, have discovered in your absence maybe with this truth uh, someone realizes uh, perhaps as I said earlier their feelings towards you because with always something there to remind me uh, which was playing earlier by uh, naked eyes uh, I do feel like whoever this is that you're attracting to you uh, there is a truth perhaps that they would like to express uh, two deals with the um, it deals with the Empress um, but I also am uh, you know getting a sense that there will be uh, some sort of judgment call this could be a karmic uh, we have six one and two that's nine so I do get a sense of someone really being up in their head because I'm getting like the nine of swords um, especially if you're constantly you know being reminded of someone uh especially if there's distance especially if there's no communication all you are left with are your thoughts so i get a sense of someone being up in their head and it could be because you're very guarded very much protective of your energy right now uh and it is very wise to do so especially uh, with that uh temptation card 
that could be alluding to the fact that someone could be obsessively thinking of you because that that devil card um, that speaks to obsession it speaks to possession it speaks to addiction it speaks to affliction control um you know and so this is someone that could have, could have potentially uh, just be thinking um very obsessively about the situation what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have 18 shadow which is the same as the moon so it's possible that you know there are some secrets there are some things that were hidden or that is currently hidden that will be exposed i feel there's also a sense of someone as i said uh having some sort of epiphany maybe they are starting to see something very clearly within themselves uh maybe they are noticing their wrongdoing or the actions that they've taken may have been um, unjust so it's like they're doing shadow work this is also someone that feels you're a mirrored reflection of them so they could feel like you are like their twin flame or their soulmate uh, this is also um, someone that's feeling uh, absolutely like you know I get a sense of them feeling like you are um, how do you say like you are the light you know you are the light in this person's life uh, because with shadows I, I get a sense of like whatever they were dealing with because we saw the temptation that's the devil so I do feel like they were going through a dark period um, they could have been also uh, dealing with a lot of um, a lot of shady individuals uh, and maybe that's why uh, they're now having this epiphany yeah I see love changes playing um, and this is who is this this is by mother's finest and this is called um, love changes so something changed so they could have chose someone else because remember we saw six communication and I feel like you may have moved away no contact and it could have been because someone broke your heart because we saw six six on the split and uh, that 6-6 six, six broke down to 12 and I said there was someone that who got hurt in the process of some some sort of whether it was a dispute or whether there was rejection I absolutely feel now someone is having um, regrets and that's why there's always something there to remind them of you uh, they're also recognizing the truth someone is going through some sort of startling metamorphosis or there's some sort of death every you know every ending denotes a new beginning with love changes uh, this person's feelings may have changed for another person maybe they thought they loved someone I feel also with you uh, this person is realizing their love for you is real because we saw that uh, spiritual union card um, so you may have a couple of people that could be returning or maybe this is the same person that's just obsessed over you uh, with that temptation card maybe that's just explaining uh, what happened in this connection they got tempted by another person maybe there was an incubus or succubus energy that they had gotten um, distracted by uh, and that's typically you know how it works so with the shadow I feel like they're doing some shadow work at this time and they're realizing the light uh, you know that you you know the light that was you so let's tap in we're gonna get a message of how they feel about you right now love it and we have high priestess and I did speak of the high priestess so the high priestess is absolutely uh, you know a divine feminine who has or a divine masculine if you are a high priest but uh, it's it, you have divine knowledge uh, which can help you through your spiritual um, you know your spiritual ascension so I am feeling like this person sees you as someone who is very in tune very tapped in very connected to the all they feel that you're psychic that you're very intuitive so that could be the reason why I was picking up on them communicating with you telepathically or intuitively uh, because we had that 33 6 um, you know when we first touched the deck and so that really you know that's your first eye so this person could be communicating with you telepathically because they know that you are intuitive on the split we have inner goddess 
so I do get a sense of this person seeing you as that divine feminine. You're, you're very attractive. Um, they see you as someone very regal, very royal. Uh, they also see that you've had some sort of awakening. Um, you've awakened to the truth. You've awakened to the power that uh, you possess. You've awakened to, um, you know, the uh, important fact that you should you know, always show yourself self-love, self-care. Um, you're also appreciating your divinity of creation. So you realize that you're an empress. You realize that you're an emperor. Um, if you're not a goddess, you could be a god or a king. That you're made of royalty. Uh, so your cards have been chosen as I've been shuffling. Two cards flew out. And look what those two cards are. Collective, very powerful messages here. So I'm going to show you. So these two cards jumped out as I was shuffling. You have a star, which is the divine feminine. So just as I'm breaking down the goddess and the god, uh, the fertility card came out. So you are an empress or an emperor in this person's eyes. Very attractive, very powerful, master manifestors. But you also have this infinite supply. So they feel that you are definitely uh, favored by spirit. Um, that everything seems to always work out in your favor. Uh, we have Jay Dilla playing right now, and this is called Loving You, Rising Power to That King. One of the dopest, greatest producers of all time. Um, so this is someone that does love you. Uh, this is definitely someone who's very attracted to you. Um, this person sees you as someone who's birthing new ideas. They could potentially even see you as the mother or the father to their child. Maybe they want to plant a seed in your womb and grow a family, uh, grow a nucleus. They see you as someone who's always reinventing yourself. Someone's very self-sufficient, independent, self-reliant, powerful, self-aware. Uh, you know your worth, as I said. You know your value. You. So you are um, definitely uh, tapping into your divinity to birth new ideas, new ways of thinking, creative ideas, accessing new ideas, uh, birthing new projects even. Um, and you're abundant. You're 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 uh, successful. You have this this um, this opulence, this radiance. Uh, you could also um, you know be coming into abundance like you could have some sort of 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 um recognition like you could be recognized both of these cards are purple also so this is just how they see you regal royal purple is the color of royalty so they definitely feel you're regal you're royal like you are a master manifester and i feel like spirit is rewarding you they see you as being highly favored and these are things that they love you know about you um like i said they see your light you know and maybe they couldn't see your light because they could have been dealing with some very toxic energy um which potentially uh cast shadows upon them and so with this look what's on the bottom of the deck bright future so what's hidden in the energy is i feel that you do uh, have a very bright future ahead of you whatever it is that you're working on if you are entrepreneurs if you run businesses even if you are pursuing um, you know if you are pursuing uh, certain endeavors within your career uh, I feel like you have a very bright future um, there's absolutely nothing for you to worry about. Worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. So I feel like love yourselves enough to treat yourselves well. Remember, also, whatever you think of, whatever you constantly think of, you create. So right now, karma is happening quicker than ever. We have instant karma. So just trust that what you obsessively think about, um, you can manifest it. Maybe this is why... Um, you know, that temptation card showed up along, you know, with the awareness because this person could really be obsessively thinking of you, obsessively thinking of the situation. We have Phil Collins in the air. So, like I said, some of you could be very in tune, tapped in, and you could feel something is coming. You could feel or sense or pick up someone's energy. So, that's the fertility card in the bottom of the deck. So, we're going to pull some additional messages for what's hidden in the energy and what we have hidden in the energy we got the 11 11 card this is twin flame vibes you know this is definitely twin flame vibes uh, four is the vibration of the heart chakra uh, so this and also the divine masculine the emperor so this could be a divine masculine coming in or a, or a divine masculine has a sacred union 
um, that is coming into fruition. It's in the air. So that means it's in the ethers. It's creeping up. It's coming. It's already, it's about, it's already manifesting. Some of you all have manifested this. Some of you all, someone is manifesting this with you, but they see you as their divine counterpart, their twin. They see you as their yin to their yang or their yang to their yin. Uh, they see you as someone who, um, they have a very sacred union that they could build, that they could grow with, that they could build a nucleus, a family. Um, they want to, you know, take things to the next level. They could see even marriage. They could see um, commitment. So this is powerful. And in the air, someone's name could be Phil. I also feel like this person feels you fill them. You know, their cup is full with you. We have the world. So remember, I was speaking uh, to there being some form of distance. So there, you know, with the world, I do feel that there's distance between you and this person. But I also feel this person sees your ascension. The world is the last card of the major arcana. So that speaks to, you know, gaining a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself, of the world, of the people in the in it, how to navigate um, tough terrain, circumstances. This also speaks to, uh, you know, having knowledge of self, knowing that self, loving that self, because you've healed that self. Uh, so they seen and witnessed your evolution, your growth, especially with that rebirth card coming out. So it's like you've had personal growth. Um, this is also someone who has, um, you know, the desire to build with you. So that's powerful. This person is at a distance, but I feel like they want to close that gap. The divine spirit is power of protection. What's hidden in the energy from my beloved collective? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. I just saw the lovers. I just spoke of the lovers earlier. So this is the lovers. And I have your card that flew out. Thank you, spirit. So this is the lovers. This is how they see you. So remember, I was speaking of the lovers, you know, with that six. So there's definitely a sacred connection, spiritual union indeed, because if you look, there's an angel that's overseeing this union. And the feminine is very much aware um, of the angel's presence, whereas this masculine seems to be looking towards the feminine. So it's the sense that this masculine has learned from this feminine. This feminine energy. He's been watching her. He's been learning from her. This feminine has had to grow. She's gone through change. If you look behind this feminine, there is a serpent, you know, a snake that's right behind her. And a lot of people think snakes represent um, just solely, I should say solely represent sneaky energy, uh, you know, because they, they strike a lot of times. You don't know they're there. Um, but this also represents transformation. Um, it represents change because snakes are constantly shedding their skin. As they grow, they shed their skin. So that's, that's literally uh, speaking to your growth, your rebirth, you know, uh, what you have endured uh, throughout your um Throughout your circumstance, throughout this situation, you've been growing, you've been evolving. And that's why now you're seen, you know, in the eyes of this person uh, as, you know, this beautiful divine feminine or divine masculine. So it's like even if it's vice versa, where the masculine is learned from the feminine um, or the feminine is learned from the masculine, there is a sense of teaching. There's a sense of learning. Someone is looking to another person and mimicking their steps. That's another reason why shadows was there, because there's this ref mirrored reflection. They see you as a like mind or an equal, um, and they will communicate that. So as I said, uh, the page of pentacles flew out. So this is someone that definitely um, wants to make an offer. There is a tangible offer that someone is going to make, um, even if it's something simple like an apology and it could come with a gift, maybe an apology gift. Like, you know, maybe someone will give you a promise ring. Maybe someone will gift you a bouquet of flowers for Mother's Day if you're mothers. Um, but there is uh, someone who wants to make an offer, a generous offer. What's hidden is there is some sort of even... Um, you know, just it's, it's like a kind gesture. I'm getting a sense of uh, if some of you all are uh, working on some new uh, business prospects, uh, I feel like you are uh, coming up with some new ideas uh, and it it's really going to uh, 
it's going to catapult into something uh, very, um, very abundant because I feel like there's a lot of intention, um, a lot of intention and attention that you are putting into whatever this new idea, this new project is. But I also feel like you have someone coming in to offer an apology. Uh, there's someone coming in to make an offer. Um, and we have outcast and this is called the art of storytelling so with outcast i do get a sense of like i said you may be in uh, you know in this position of being isolated or feeling um you know secluded right now uh maybe because you felt rejected if there were uh some circumstances that have happened in the past maybe you're different you know maybe that's part of what uh someone's fears were because maybe they just couldn't in at the time see the truth of the matter uh because they were dealing with their own um illusions and so now it's like they're seeing something uh, for what it truly is so let's tap in so we have the six of swords here and we're about to pull the energy of the outcome so i do feel there's someone who is at a distance that's working their way towards you i feel like they could be leaving a situation uh, with outcasts, maybe they're realizing that some they don't fit into uh, whatever that situation was. Because remember, we had love changes uh, playing earlier. So someone's feelings or emotions have changed. I feel like something got really rocky wherever they were or it got really murky, um, murky waters. I feel like things got really difficult. Um, and so maybe they're making their way back to you. I feel like they're going to have a story to tell you as well, like something that they're going to explain to you, express to you, uh, in regards to um, something they've endured. And so what I've just noticed is I have two cards uh, that are from a completely different deck, and I want to show you. So I pulled uh, this deck. Let me see how I can show you this. And there's two cards that are from a completely different deck um, attached to it. So let me see if I can show you this. So these two cards are from the original traditional tarot. So these two cards were together. So this person does see you as, you know, someone that they have an equal give and take. This is definitely someone coming in. But this is the deck that I was pulling. But those two cards were on the bottom. Look at this. So remember when I was saying that someone is coming in with like, you know, just a kind gesture. Um, with this page of pentacles, they're making that offer. Now we have this ace. So this is like proposal, marriage. You know, someone could be proposing to you because you got the Hierophant, which I spoke of, and then you have this Ace of Pentacles. So I am getting a sense of like someone proposing, especially being as though like they're they're coming in. This is like someone coming towards you. I feel like you've moved away and created a safe space. You're in a sacred space, a sacred place right now. This person, your absence um, has made this person recognize the truth of how they feel. And the Two of Cups is speaking to um, how they feel about you. Like they could have an equal exchange of give and take. That they have a very sacred connection with you. With this Ace of Pentacles, whatever this is that you're working on uh, privately and quietly. Um, this new project, this new idea. Uh, there's, It's going to uh, transform into prosperity, success, abundance. I feel like Spirit is also... Uh, giving you this infinite supply. Remember, you had the infinite supply. And that's exactly what this Ace of Pentacles is saying. You know, this is like a beautiful gift from the divine, from spirit. Spirit is handing this to you because you've earned it. So whatever you're working on, it's like spirit is, is giving this to you as a reward. And when I looked, I feel like you're being rewarded this because of what you've endured. You've persevered through some difficult times. Look at that three swords. That's what I was speaking to earlier. So that three of swords in the tower. So there definitely was a moment, um, you know, there was something that transpired in your past. And that's why you're being rewarded because you've worked on yourself. You've healed. We have Dawn Richard, and this is called Frequency. So you've changed your vibration and frequency from, you know, that of, of, of remorse, sad, and uh, sorrow, pain, and you've worked on yourself and reached this level of self-mastery with this Astara, you know, the Empress card. Um, even if you're massive, you, you've reached a level of self-mastery and that's why you're being rewarded because you have gradually worked on you and uh, that work is now um, very obvious. So divine spirit of peace, power and protection. Let me get a message for the outcome for my beloved collective energy. Thank you. 
So you have a King of Cups in the bottom of the deck. And you also have the Four of Pentacles, which flew out. So someone has been holding on to you, no question um, about it. And this is someone that you have felt very much um, like you need to protect yourself from that person. So you've been holding back. But this is how they truly feel. There goes that same boat with the Six of Swords and that King of Cups. And you see how he's holding his cup. You know, he's still holding his chalice. You know, but it's almost like he's looking to the past and having these... Uh, memories, you know, these memories of the past. They see the truth. Uh, they recognize the truth. It's also frequency, you know, uh, you know, water signs are very in tune, very uh, psychic, very intuitive, um, tapped into the energy. And so spirit is saying, um, you know, especially with Phil Collins earlier singing in the air tonight, I definitely feel like you all are feeling that someone is returning and you may come off very guarded. This is someone that's been holding on to you. And I do get a sense with four of pentacles, like this is someone now who's realizing that they want to build and cultivate something with you. Um, you know, and I feel like with Golden Heart album, it's called Golden Heart. Uh, this person recognizes and realizes uh, that you are the real deal. Maybe they went after what was glittering and not what was actual gold. So they got fooled by fool's gold uh, because that, that temptation card keeps sticking out in my mind's eye. They got tempted. Um, there could have been a lot of lust, a lot of... of um, you know, just lust and, and uh, that incubus, succubus energy. Uh, we have Duran Duran singing Save a Prayer now. And so I do feel like this person prays. Uh, you know, they do pray for you, pray for this union. Let me get one more card uh, for this Four of Coins. Why is this Four of Coins here for the outcome? I do feel like this person wants to, uh, you know, rebuild with you. They want to build a nucleus. You could see a tower off in the distance there as well. So this is that person that has had some sort of tower. They've gone through their own, um, you know, startling metamorphosis. It's like this person has never let you go. I feel like they've also secretly prayed, um, you know, for you, prayed for this reunion. Uh, and they've never let you go. So a gazillion cards flew out, and I'm going to put all of these back, give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. Divine spirit, love and light, peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message from my divine collective energy. Thank you, spirit. And so remember what I spoke to you. Remember the truth card came out for your person. So look at this. I'm going to show you. So remember, I'm going to show you these cards. So this is the three cards that flew out to uh, confirm or validate uh, or clarify the, the, the Four of Pentacles. So this is the same person. Remember the 20 came out for who you're attracting. The truth. That's 20. That's the same judgment. So I do feel like this is someone who had to go through something karmically. They put you through something karmically. They were indecisive about what they wanted and their indecision led to heartache. There was a lot of um, you know, smugness. They could have treated you very smug, rejected you because they were uh, definitely dealing with multiple people. They had options, so they could have treated you like an option and just dismissed you. I just saw 47, uh, 38, which is 11, 11. So that could be speaking to someone who feels you're their twin flame, the one that got away. I feel like um, with loyalty, this person definitely was loyal to the wrong person. I feel you may have been loyal to this person, but the way that they treated you was like this. It was heartache. It was loss. It was pain. You may have put your defenses down, or maybe this person has put their defense down with the wrong person or put their guard down, I should say, with the wrong person. They were vulnerable with the wrong person, and it led to their own heartache. They're being judged because they've had a wake-up call. Remember, always something there to remind me. So I was feeling someone had regret. I was feeling someone realized that they've made a mistake. And look at this, priestess. You already know all of this. It's like you already knew what was going on you know before this person comes and confesses to you their feelings it's like you already know you already sense it because maybe you called it you already knew there was another person even though they denied it you already knew that this person 
you know, was under some sort of influence uh, because of, you know, just the carelessness, the callousness of their actions. And that could be why spirit was telling you to trust your intuition as well as, you know, this is why you're, you're really uh, protective of your energy because of, you know, the, the, the way that you were treated in the past. And so this person has absolutely been praying and wishing and hoping uh to to make this situation right let me get a couple of messages um i have a deck that my son had uh created for me and it just has like numbers and letters uh along with the names of archangels and on the bottom of the deck we have archangel mikael i feel like the first thing i heard was rejection was for your protection and it could be because someone was dealing with someone that was um you know, manipulating their energy. Uh, also, because this person was not, um, they weren't ready for you. You know, everything happens in divine timing. Um, and I also feel like it was important for you to work on yourself. So rejection was for your protection is what I heard. So let's see. Let's get some messages from this deck. And then we're going to wrap it up. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. So look what flew back out. So we have the number six. We have the number four, so six and four reduces to ten. But something could have transpired, um, you know, in the month of June, maybe in the month of June, this person will take action because uh, that six and four reduces to one. One is a very um, action oriented number that speaks to that, like the new beginning, an ace of wands, an ending, uh, and every ending denotes a new beginning. But this person could be coming um, in the month of June. Um, on the fourth day or in the month of june or in the month of october um i feel like uh four is the the number of the divine masculine the emperor uh it's also twin flame 11 11. uh salut little girl um my cat just <laughs> sneezed um so four is the number of uh the 11 11 that we saw uh, so this could be someone that is your twin flame. Six is also the lovers. We have the letter V. So I heard victory immediately. We have the number three. So that's the twin flame. That, so that's what this is. This is a twin flame because you have the emperor's number and the emperor's number. You also have 11. I can't make this up. You have the letter J. So J for joy. And then you have Archangel Metatron. So he deals with the first eye. And remember, we saw that six. So Archangel Metatron is the first eye in one of my decks. You have the number 11. You have the number four, you have the number six, you have the number three, you have the number or the letter V and the letter J. So I'm getting a sense of someone's name could be Jason, Jared, Jessica, Joy, Jane, John, Jim. I feel some you're going to be lucky also. Because I'm getting Jupiter, I'm hearing Jupiter with this as well. So that's why this infinite supply and this fertility card. So there's a very abundant energy here. And with V, I just immediately heard victory. I also hear Vanessa. I hear um, I hear Vanessa. I hear um, Vaughn. I heard the word, uh, the name Vinny, Victoria. Vivica, but victories, there's a victory ahead. So this is powerful. So six and four, that's three. I mean, six and four, that uh, is one, three, that's four. Four and two, it's these numbers still reduced to six. So you all are coming into, I feel, a sacred connection. And we have the letter L on the bottom of the deck. So love, Lamar, Lenny, Lonnie, Lisa. This is powerful. So this is your message. I thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the messages resonated with you, please be kind, hit the like button, the share, definitely hit the subscribe uh, so that you can see new videos, more videos. Um, if you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, peace.